<laughs> Our start to winter weather has included several troublesome commutes. Rochelle from Blaine and Doug from Victoria both wondered why lane lines are painted white, making them especially hard to see in the snow. So how are lane line colors chosen and what is done to make sure that they're visible? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. Commutes with caution. We've still got some snow covered roads here. A standard but stressful experience when painted stripes that guide drivers disappear in the snow. You could use like a brighter color, neon type of color, but I don't think any other states do that. So it'd it's... be confusing if you were from out of state and we had neon yeah, that green. That would be weird. Do you understand the frustration of white lane lines in a snowy season? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Ethan Peterson is MnDOT's pavement marking engineer. Why are the lane lines usually yellow or white? The best answer is uniformity throughout the whole United States. Lane line colors are federally mandated through the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices. It's mainly because yellow in the beginning uh, I think it's just generally thought as a very high visibility color. White was kind of seen that way also. Both colors have high contrast on dark roads, but each has a specific purpose. White separates lanes moving in the same direction and shows the right edge of the road. Yellow separates lanes moving in the opposite direction, like the middle line of a two-way highway, and shows the left edge of the road. Several other colors are allowed, but have their own rules. Red can be used for dedicated transit ways like bus lanes or one-way roads. Blue is used for parking spots for people with disabilities. Purple for toll roads and green for bike lanes. Black can also be used, such as the border seen here, when there's not enough contrast on light-colored roads. What's the life expectancy of painting a stripe? Oh, that's a good question. It depends solely pretty much on the material and how it's installed. In Minnesota, we grind in a lot of pave, a lot of our pavement markings to extend the lifespan. That means the lane lines are painted a few millimeters below the surface of the road, out of reach from plow blades that could scrape them up. With grooving, we have extended the life of latex to about three years. Um, Jeff Wagner. And then with epoxy markings, you can look for about five to seven years. WCCO, four news. Uh, the paint used for the lane lines has retro reflective beads in it. It's like a metallic dust that helps the paint reflect better uh, under headlights, even when the roads are wet. If you have a good question for Jeff, you can email him through WCCO.com links.